All right, well, thank you for joining us in our webinar today, Introduction to Portfolios. My name is Siobhan, and I am a Professional Development Specialist here at FreshGrade. Um, I'm so excited that you guys could join us. Let's go ahead and take a look at the agenda and see what we'll be working on. Oops. Okay, so today I'm going to be sharing with you how to get started with FreshGrade portfolios. We will be taking a look at how you can make learning visible using the Teacher app both on our web application as well as our iPad. You will be able to communicate meaningful examples of learning through secure digital portfolios while parents are provided ongoing communication that matters. And students are given the opportunity to have a voice in the learning. So today we're gonna to take a look at how you can set up your class list, how to upload a student portfolio photo, how to invite students and parents, how to upload artifacts of learning, and how to send an announcement. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave this screen here and we're gonna head right on over to the web application of FreshGrade. The first thing that I'm gonna show you guys how to do is how to set up your class. So if you're actually using a school or district account, you're not gonna to need to do this because your school and district automatically upload your class list for you. But for those of you that are using FreshGrade free, you will need to upload your class list. So I'll show you how to do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into my account settings and create a new class. All right, so you want to make sure you select your objective documents. As you can see, I've got lots here for me. Those will automatically be imported in for you based on the region that you have set in your account. Then you're going to choose your grades. I'm going to choose grade six and your subjects. Science for me. And then click next. The next screen that you're going to be brought into is going to be where you can actually enter in your student name. So you can do it individually or you can add multiple students at one time. So if you're adding a whole bunch of students to the class, that's probably the fastest way to do it. I'll show you how quick and easy that is. Here's my class list. I'm just going to go ahead and copy this out, swipe back over to my screen here, paste it in and click add to list. It's going to automatically set all of my students at grade six. So if you have a split class where you have multiple grades, you will need to flip flop between the correct grades. So if you have a five, six class, you will need to select which students are grades five and which students are grade six. And then I'm gonna go ahead and click save. It's that easy, quick and simple to go ahead and upload those um, students into your class and you can go ahead and get started. So the next thing that we can look at is how to upload student photos. So we'll look at this in two different ways. The first way that we'll look at it is in the app, the web application here, as well as I'll head on over to the iPad application and show you how quick and easy it is to capture a student's photo right in your classroom using your mobile device, either your iPad or your iPhone or your Android device. You can use it on any of those devices um, and write in your teacher application. So let's take a look how to upload Mateo's photo here. So I'm gonna click options, and then I'm gonna click edit student. You can see here, I can go upload a photo. And then I can go into my list of students, and I can find Mateo's photo, and I can quickly upload it to his account. And there's Mateo. It's that easy, just remember to press save. So always press save when you're uploading student photos. You can then move on to the next student, and quickly choose their photo as well. And there's Gabriella. So it's quick and easy to upload those photos. Should only take you a couple minutes. This is something that we like to do at the beginning of the year. It's a great warm up activity for students. I'll show you the application here. So this is the teacher app using an iPad. It is going to be a little bit larger than using like a phone for it. Um, the one difference that you'll see on the iPad versus a mobile device like a phone would be the gradebook. You'll have gradebook fun functionality on the iPad where you don't have that on a mobile device just due to screen size. So we'll head over. This is my fully populated class, but I'll show you how quick and easy it is to upload a student's photo. So there's our Veers class and I can go ahead and tap on the photo there or tap edit sorry and then tap on the photo 
And you have two options. You can take a photo or you can choose an existing photo. So I'm going to go ahead and choose an existing photo. However, if you've got your students in your classroom, you can quickly line them up, snap a photo of each one of them right at the beginning of the year, first day in the classroom. That's a fun activity to do with them. Or if you've got specific photos of your students, you can wait till later and upload those. So you'll notice one great feature about doing this in the iPad is you can actually center your image right in the app. So you just use your two finger pinch and just pinch in and out to make sure that you've got the right spot for the student photo and then tap use. And that's how quick and easy it is to upload a student photo. <laughs> Super simple. One thing that some teachers like to do is they like to have their students dress up in their favorite color or a superhero, or even sometimes they'll have them upload um, characters instead of photos. So students can choose a character that best represents themselves and you can upload those as their portfolio photos. So lots of different options there. All right, so now that we're in, we're going to talk about how to um, invite parents and students. So we'll head over to my fully populated class here on the web application. And we're going to take a look at how easy it is to invite the parents in. So what I'm going to do is I'm on my dashboard right now and I'm going to go ahead and click portfolios. You'll notice there's all my students. And I'm going to click Options to the right of the first student's name. I'm then going to click Edit Students. Now, this is a school district account. So one of the benefits of a school district account is that your parent contact information is actually already uploaded for you. So it's really simple to give access. All you need to do is click Give Portfolio Access, scroll down to the parent name, and click Save. I've already done that. There. Save. There we go. So when you add a parent, they're going to be added at the first level as highlights only. Highlights only means that parents will only see items that you share with them as highlights. So this is something you have to choose to do when you add something to a student's portfolio. So they'll only receive those highlights and they're received by email. If you want to invite the parents into the portfolio, you're going to have to take it one step further and click Invite Student. The invite will be sent to the parent and the parent will receive an email asking them to create an account. If they already have an account, it will let they'll get an email letting them know that they have another invite. They can go into their account and under Invites, they'll see the invite ready and waiting for them so they can go ahead and accept it into their account and it'll add to their list of students. So to save you time, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click next student. Then you can quickly go through all of your students, invite their parents in just a matter of minutes for those of you using a district account. For those of you using a free account, you will need to add the parents individually. So you can click add parent, you're going to enter their name and their email address and click Save. There, I've added myself as a parent for Gabriella here. And you'll notice that I'm highlights access only. So I'm going to go ahead and click Invite one more time. And that will send an invite to my inbox requesting that I create an account in FreshGrade. Now you can do this on the iPad as well. So there's my parents. Let's go to Gabriella. I can add a parent. Simply add the parent's name. And their email address. Click Save. So you can invite the parent now or do it later. So I'm going to go ahead and send the invite now. This means that I skip that highlight access only level and go right to the full invite. So no need to double click. You can do it one time right through the app. And then you can move on to the next student quick and easy and quickly invite all of the parents. So you'll notice that one of the difference 
between the app using an iPad or an iPhone and the web is that things are a little bit more streamlined when you're using the mobile device, allowing simpler clicks for you. All right, let's go ahead and head back to the web application here. So the next thing we're gonna be talking about is how do you upload evidence of learning? You can do this in many different ways. Um, you can do it from a student's portfolio, um, either on the web application or on an iPad. You can upload evidence to an activity in the gradebook. Um, but for today, we're just gonna keep it simple. We're gonna take a look at uploading through your dashboard, um, through a student portfolio, as well as uploading on the iPad. So let's go ahead and take a look. This is our dashboard here. This is the screen that you're going to be taken to whenever you come into FreshGrade. You can click Quick Add here in the upper right-hand corner. Quick Add allows you to upload evidence of learning to a student's portfolio um, quickly from the first screen that you come in. But not only does it allow you to upload to one student, in this screen you can actually upload to as many students as you want. So when you come in here, you've got a few options. You can choose to keep, keep the quick ad private, which means that the students and parents won't be able to see it until you unprivatize it. You can add a note, add an expression, and upload files. So let's go ahead and choose this file here. And then you're going to be able to choose your students. So this is great. You can choose one at a time, or you can select all. If you accidentally click select all and you want to deselect them, it's as simple as clicking deselect all. So I'm just going to upload to Jacob's portfolio here. Click save, and it'll automatically post to his portfolio. So we can take a look at Jacob's portfolio there. And there's that artifact that we posted. When we go into the student view of it, there's the artifact, and the student can comment on their work. For parents, we'll give it a quick refresh here, take a look at Jacob's portfolio, and there's the evidence of learning. Really, really simple. So let's head back to Jacob's portfolio. So you can also upload evidence right from the student's portfolio. So you can do this through the Add Portfolio button, and it's gonna be just like the Quick Add where you can add um, as much evidence as you want by uploading files, adding a note, and you also have the option of keeping it private. You can also go to an existing artifact on the portfolio, click Edit, and upload evidence right to that artifact. and click Save. And now my evidence is attached to that student's portfolio on a specific artifact. I can also add more by clicking Upload, attaching another file, and clicking Save. Now, not only can you as a teacher upload evidence, but your students can take ownership of their work and upload the evidence on their own. So here's Jacob's portfolio. We're gonna give it a refresh so we can see those new items we added. There's those new items we added under building your own bakery. Jacob can come in here, he can click upload. For example, he can click on his journals item here and he can upload his journal right to the artifact in his portfolio. Students can do this on the web application or they can use, do this using the student app. So let's move over to the mobile device here and I'll show you what it looks like from a mobile device. So here's my class. We'll head over to Jacob's portfolio and you'll see those new artifacts we uploaded. So I can either choose to upload in whole class mode where I can upload an artifact to the entire class at one time or I can choose to upload to an individual student's portfolio. So when you're uploading, you have a few different options. You can upload a image, a video, an audio clip, or a note. So we've taken a look at how easy it is to upload a photo. You either capture it, or you can choose an existing one from your camera roll. The same thing goes for your videos. 
But what I really want to show you on here is the audio functionality. So the audio functionality in the teacher app is fantastic. You can record an audio clip, so you can start recording it. I'm recording my audio clip now. You can see that the time is tracking there. And say a student needs your attention, you need to pause that recording. Just tap that record button again. You can go and answer the student's question and then continue recording. And it'll continue on in that same clip. No need to starting over. You just take a quick pause and head back right into the clip. And there's a stop. And then I can save it by tapping save in the upper right hand corner there. I can write a note to the student. And another great functionality of the iPad here is the quick note feature. So if you have those notes that you find that you're constantly adding to a student's portfolio, this can be done through the quick add feature. So these are where you can enter in those things that you constantly say over and over, saving yourself time and not needing to enter the same things in again and again. So I can click great work, you've mastered this, click save, and that audio clip will automatically post to Jacob's portfolio. Now, when you post to a student's portfolio, you'll notice there that the student and the parent automatically receive a push notification, letting them know that content has been added to their portfolio. They can then go into that push notification, tap on it, there's the parent, and they'll be brought right to the artifact in their portfolio. So the parents don't need to search through the portfolio to find the evidence that you're posting. Oh, this parent got logged out. Let's tap on the student. They can actually just tap on the artifact and they'll be brought right to it. So if I were to log into that parent, they would have automatically been brought right to the artifact. So there's Jacob's recording. He can tap on it and play it and then comment on his work. This is a great place to add reflections. So perhaps in my note, I wanted to give him some leading statements and Jacob could have then come back in, taken those leading statements and reflected on his work. So there's Jacob's portfolio. So we looked at how easy it is to upload for a teacher on the mobile device, but let's take a look at how simple it is for a student. It's identical to the web application. So your students, no matter if they're using our FreshGrade on their computer, using you know the web browser, Google Chrome or Safari, or whether they're logged into a mobile device, either an Android device or an iPad or an iPhone, it doesn't matter. Students are gonna have the same consistency across the products. They're gonna see the same platform, they're gonna click the same buttons, and it's always gonna be the same for them. So here, Jacob can click Add New, and he can click Upload, and he'll be able to choose to take a photo Choose a photo from his photo library or browse. So in this case, we're gonna click photo library. I can go into my camera roll and we can upload a photo. Tap save there and you'll notice at the top of the screen, it shows you how quickly that artifact uploaded. Um, you'll always have the progress bar and there we have our push notifications for both the teacher and the parent, letting them know that there's new content added to the child's portfolio. So I can tap on the teacher notification. It'll bring me right into my teacher app where I'm brought right to the artifact of learning and I can comment on Jacob's work. I can also upload to Jacob's work or um, make uh, add an impression. So sad face, happy face, whatever you want to add there. I'm gonna go back to the Fresh Grade for Students app. Another thing a student can do is they can come into an activity that you've added into the gradebook here, and they can click upload on the activity. They can either, again, take that photo or choose a photo from the photo library. So we're gonna choose a photo from the photo library. Camera roll. Tap on the photo and upload it to their portfolio. 
Now I'm going to get that push notification as a teacher that I can go in and see what Jacob's added to his portfolio. So let's head over to Jacob's work. and take a look at that evidence he uploaded. Now, when a student uploads their work to the portfolio, you'll be brought right to the artifact where you can actually quickly assess the student right in the portfolio. So I can choose where Jacob sits there, and this is a custom assessment tool that I created. We will be covering more on assessments and your grade book in our webinar this Wednesday at 3.30, um, same time as today, 3.30 Pacific time. So if you're interested, please feel free to join us. Um, and we'll go into, we'll dive into assessments a little bit more and take a look at how you can create activities in your grade book and how you can create your own custom assessment tools. So that's how easy it is for students to upload their work. All right, so the final thing that we're going to take a look at, we have about seven minutes left here, so I'm going to show you one more thing and then I want to take some time to answer some questions. So if you have any questions, please do feel free to throw those into the chat panel. I will do my best to answer all of the questions. If for some reason we miss a question, you can always reach, uh, check our uh, care site, so care.freshgrade.com. Um, we usually have most of the answers there, but you can always contact us if, you're, if you don't find the answer you're looking for. So let's head over to the application here. There we go. So I'm gonna go back to my dashboard. So at the beginning of the year, one thing that I like to do is I like to send an announcement out to my parents, letting them know what fresh grade is um, and what we're going to be doing with fresh grade for the year. So you can come in here, you can click new announcement and you can choose who you're going to send your announcement to. So for announcements, you have uh, three options. You can send it to everyone, which means that you're including both parents and students in the announcement. You can choose to send it to all parents or all students. In this case, I'm going to choose to send it to all parents. And then I'm going to type in my subject. And then in the announcement field, what I would put here is a welcome letter to parents, letting them know what FreshGrade is, how we're going to be using FreshGrade, and how they can interact with their child's portfolio in FreshGrade. Then I'm going to click Send, and that will send to the parent's email, as well as they'll get a push notification. There's my push notification, letting them know that there's an announcement in their account. So when I come in here, you will be able to see who the parents are that received it and when they view it. So right now, all of the names are in red. However, when I go into the parent account, here it is. There's my announcement letting me know that there's a new announcement. I can click read more and I'll be able to see the announcement. Remember, announcements are text only. At this time, you can't include any files or um, any images. But as soon as the parent views it, you can click in here, and you'll notice that the parent's name turns green. So this is great because you can see exactly who's seen your announcement and follow up with anyone who's missing any announcements that you're sending out. So announcements can be anything from a welcome letter, um, letting the parents know that there's a field trip, or letting them know what your class is going to be doing for the next little while on certain things and what their children will be bringing home from school so they know what to expect and how they can support their children at home. So that's announcements. Now we did throw in a couple handouts here. There's a parent information printout and a parent privacy FAQ sheet for you. Those are great to give to parents um, at the beginning of the year. So if you want to download those, you can. Um, and then one other thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about is what's next. You've watched this webinar, you've gotten a refresh, you kind of know what portfolios are, but what can you do next? The next thing that you can do is you can either join us for our webinar this Wednesday on assessments, or if you're unavailable, we have an all new learning website here that is um, there for uh, 
you guys to use and you'll find module based courses, webinars, pre recorded videos, old webinars, lots and lots of content that you can access. So you, all you need to do is go to learning.freshgrade.com and you'll be able to access all of those courses. So we'll go ahead and I'll stay on the line here for a few more minutes and answer any questions that you have. So those questions can be thrown right into the questions panel and I can cover, we can look at the platform, we can, I can show you anything that you missed or anything that you want to see a little bit further. So please do feel free to throw those questions in the chat panel here and we'll just give you a second to go ahead and throw those in. All right, so it looks like we have a question here. Um, what uh, someone's asking if we can take a look at that parent invite one more time on the mobile device. Yes, we can definitely take a look at how to invite parents in on the mobile device one more time. And while we're doing this, if anybody has any other questions, please do feel free to throw those in the chat panel. So we're going to go ahead and go ahead and go into the portfolios here. So let's take a look at Missy's account. So I can click edit, add a parent, enter in the email address and the parent's name. And click save. Once I do that, I'm going to be given the option of either sending an invite now or sending it later. Sending the invite now automatically puts the parents at full access. They'll get an invite to their inbox and they'll be able to create a fresh grade account. Or if they already have an account, they'll be able to accept the invite from their account. Or you can choose to do it later. This will add the parents in, but only at that email access only. So highlight level only, they'll only receive highlights that you choose to send them. Then tap save in the upper right hand corner and you can move on to your next student. All right, it looks like we have a question about highlights. What does it look like um, to send a highlight? That's a great question. So let's go to Jacob's portfolio here. I'm gonna show you what it looks like when we add an artifact to the portfolio. So I'm gonna go ahead and quickly save that. And you'll see here, you're gonna be notified that um, do you want to share the highlight now or do you want to share it later? So you can choose to share the highlight now or you can choose to share it later. I like to say, no, I'll share it later because I actually prefer to invite my parents in at full access. And I find that when you share the highlight and the parents are invited to the portfolios, they're going to get those push notifications and they're going to get the emails. If we sometimes over communicate, they may read the emails, but then they're not gonna look at the portfolios. I actually want the parents looking at the portfolios, engaging in the portfolio. So I choose not to share the highlight because I want them to click into the portfolio and not just look at the email that I sent them. All right, so that looks like that's it for today. Um, please do check out our new learning center at learning.freshgrade.com. There's lots of courses on there for you. And I hope to see you all in our next webinar on Wednesday. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.